to Tyrants on the Field. As always, I'm your host, Joe. We've got a fun one for you today. Uh, a 75-point battle between uh, the forces of Kador and the forces of the Orgoth. Um, Terrain-wise, we have a pool, we have a building, we have a forest, we have a cloud, we have a trench, we have a building obstruction, we have a hill, and we have another forest. On the Orgoth side, we have two uh, siege tyrants, or siege tarasks, uh, two tyrants, uh, each with hunter's heads, uh, belchers, and quad bolt thrower. Uh, have two jackals, one jackal, uh, which is going to be on the bottom bottom portion of the screen, has a berserker head, a, an assault shield, and a pole arm. Uh, two units of war witches. Uh, the other jackal is sporting an arc node head, a clawed fist, and a mace. Uh, and then leading leading this particular group is Harask, and he has as his spell rack Inviable Resolve and Windstorm. Uh, so everything on the Orgoth side is, is just running up. Uh, there's also a on the Orgoth side, a Reaver Commander uh, within the list, and he's placed centrally. Um, the two units of War Witches, everything in this uh, is just sort of running up, um, spacing itself out in preparation for next turn, uh, trying to take up as much space as possible. Rush puts up uh, Windstorm and casts through the Arc Node uh, Inviable Resolve onto the top screen uh, Siege Tarrasque to give him the uh, the no knockdown and the uh, plus two armor from Inviable Resolve. And jumping over to the Kadoran side, uh, led by Valaria Saverin, uh, with uh, a rack of superiority and iron flesh. Uh, we have a uh, bison. We have uh, two Great Bears, uh, one Great Bear with Momentum Cannon and Dozer, uh, which is the one uh, nearest the, e the end of your screen. Uh, in the far north, we have a Great Bear with a Heavy Cannon and a Blasting Fist. Two units of Shock Trooper Gunners, uh, one unit of Suppressors, uh, two, or a single unit of Arcanists, <coughs> And uh, a Winter Corps officer and Magazev uh, Volkov. Um, so that is the, the Kadoran uh, army uh, that we have for today. Uh, everything is just going to kind of run up, trying to get it positioned behind the building a little bit uh, there with the bison. And Saverin is going. He is casting Escort onto himself. Um, he's casting Iron Flesh onto the Suppressors. He is getting superiority onto the uh, Great Bear at the top of the screen with the uh, Blasting Fist and the and the. Uh, Heavy cannon. And just advancing up three. After getting all those upkeeps out. So this is part of a, a series of battle reports uh, that we're going to be doing. Um, this is back to uh, a steamroller format, but we're gonna we're gonna do a little bit of a twist. Um, you will see that these exact two same armies uh, with the exact same um, starting order uh, in the exact same scenario with uh, one slight difference. In in the second game, we're gonna remove uh, the objectives. So this is the first game where we play uh, purely standard steamroller at 75. Um, these are both 75 point lists. And then we'll have a little bit of analysis as to how we we liked both. So uh, Great Bear uh, moving up along with 
uh, first unit of shock trooper gunners. The suppressors uh, running on up into the trench. The second unit of shock trooper gunners um, sort of clustering again behind that wood. Sort of closing off um, line of sight to the caster there with my heavy and then moving up the uh, unit of arcanists. And then just sort of running up the uh, winter corps officer and advancing turn counter and going over to the other side. All right, so Horesk will upkeep uh, Inviolable Resolve. And power up will occur across the board. So here we're going to think through and uh, get some focused allocated uh, from the Empower bots. Oh, and two into the Berserker and one into the uh, Gun Tyrant over there. Uh, the second unit's going to shimmy around, give one to the Green Tyrant and then give two to the white tyrant so that we have uh, full focus in multiple spots yep just checking range there so they'll do their little shimmy and then allocate the remaining their remaining empowers So we're going to measure out a bunch of stuff here, and I don't have an 80 millimeter proxy, um, so you'll see the, the tyrant kind of move, but that's not the actual move. We're just looking at where he wants to end up, or the, the siege to rask. As we check range on a few things, particularly the Berserker, uh, Berserker Jackal, and getting to that. So the Berserker Jackal is going to eventually get there, um, but we're seeing that the Tyrant has range if it moves up, so it's going to shimmy uh, just a little bit forward and then uh, roll up its gun. It's going to get four four hits or four shots, and we're just going to we're going to roll fire into the uh, the bison right now. So just absolutely uh, strong hit there, boosting again. Again, these are dice off four. We're rolling with Rusk, and then uh, again, just doing a, an absolute trunk load of damage from the uh, the gun tyrant. So now we're going to actually move the Tarask. 
and shoot the uh, Taras gun. So it will shoot, hit, dice off six. Charge in the Berserker, hits, and dice off four. Dead. Dead Bison. <laughs> so, <coughs> too aggressive in the placement of the vi of that Bison. Uh, it's going to bite the farm. It did take a uh, pretty significant investment uh, to remove it. And here, he's just going to jump into the zone, stay out of the forest, be in that little nuke, be, be annoying, uh, have the potential to, to start scoring. Other Tyrant is going to move up, and he's going to start shooting and try to take out this uh, Dozer. We're going we're gonna to roll two shots. It does not uh, bode well. So we're instead going to uh, take some shots at the, uh, the infantry that's over there. scooping them up pretty efficiently at dice off one. And lobbing the uh, blast shot hits. We would set fire to a whole bunch of stuff, but they're all fire resistant, so we're just going to set fire to the, uh, the jack. And uh, proceed to to not do uh, to do one point of damage on the uh, the main one, um, and then we're gonna boost some. And we managed to do uh, one point off the blast damage, and then nothing on the uh, nothing on the jack itself. So, Rusk is gonna. Jump around the corner a little bit, put up, put up Windstorm again. And we'll power swell to uh, give him another focus. Just sort of measuring out where he can be and not get double uh, double flamed. So, hits, kills him. And seeing what will be in range for feet, and we feed it this turn. All right, jumping back over to the Kadoran side. Um, not a ton to work with. I want to try and get rid of um, the threats. That are that are bubbling up, uh, try and make as as much use of those as possible. Uh, so we're gonna upkeep uh, iron flesh and upkeep 
uh, escort, and I believe he upkeeps superiority. Yeah, he upkeeps superiority as well. Yeah, all three are upkept. We're going to go with Savern first. He's going to feat, and he is going to do uh, bodyguard or do his uh, tactician, and then he's going to put out two uh, kill orders. Uh, one on the tyrant behind the house, and one on the one on the jackal, right there. And then I believe we put up tides of war, and we're gonna scoot back on the repo. Comes to, or we're going to shoot. There's the Tides of War. And we're in Power Swell. And then Tides of War back. And they're going to move forward. Uh, the suppressor's going to move forward a bit and take some shots. We're going to roll really poorly on the first shot. And at POW 15, not doing much of anything. Again, or see how many dice again, three, three shots, hits, again, three shots total, one, does a bit of damage there. But Haras's feet um, really makes the shield ty shield jackals uh, difficult to deal with because um, they're base 19. They go up to 22 under feet. It's uh, it's a real strong little package. That's there. Uh, Going to do some empowering. Two and one. Two to the dozer. Um, dozer have a cannon. Great bear that's on the bottom, and then one to the great bear on the top with, uh, again, heavy cannon and blasting fist. So, making some shots. Hits. This is with the momentum cannon. Does a nice bit of damage there. Or, sorry, this is with the dozers. Hits. Boosts. And then the momentum cannon, or the heavy cannon, which is a momentum gun, but there is no knockdown that occurs here because of Rock's feet, which prevents knockdown. And I think this is enough to take him out. That'll kill him. And then we rhythm of war, not rhythm of war, we uh, tides of battle back. Uh, if I'd have been thinking here, 
no, it was better to, to better to go back. The the thought was potentially going forward to contest the zone, but he doesn't have an element in there currently, and I want to avoid the uh, Taras being able to charge me. So moving up the flame guys, they're going to come up and try to do some damage to that jackal. Or not the jet, do some damage to the tyrant that's behind the house. Um, I think they get a point or two on him. It's not phenomenal. We'll put it that way. Uh, and we move up. The officer. Officer's going to take a shot. Doesn't really do anything. So the superiority, superiority escorted. Um, Escorting Great Bear is going to charge in with the fist. We'll hit. And then we'll see what we do damage wise. Uh, it's dice off three. Nice damage. Uh, 13 points there. So, real good, real good start. Miss the shot, miss the momentum cannon shot, and then proceeds to miss the bot attack. So single hyper aggression or single uh, token on the uh, seed trask up top. They're coming over. Um, they're going to give one focus to or the. Power bots gonna give one focus to the uh, jackal and two to the tyrant, and then the other ones are gonna come over and give two to the tyrant. Tarask is getting ready to uh, try to put an anchor or try to put a skewer into him. Hits. And we need an 8 to do damage and we fail to get the 8. So, no drag, um, which is kind of a drag. Uh, looking back on the position here, I think it would have been better to charge the solo if I could. Uh, or try to shoot that solo and skewer the solo over. Um, try it, trying to get um, something else over here would have been would have been better longer term for the for the siege to ask. All right, restride forward with the. Uh, with the gun rent, uh, and then I make a colossal mistake here uh, and fail to put him in the in the zone. 
Um, so because of the objective being there, he couldn't just walk and tow into the zone at, at that point and be in range. Um, so he, he stays in the middle and makes some shots. Uh, sets a whole bunch of stuff on fire, which is nice. Doing some more shots. into him. Seed stress charges, hits, angry elephant. Uh, does an absolute metric ton of damage. 12 damage to 3. Here, so nice nice start um, on these initials. The damage, again, dice off 4. And then a little pillow he fisted at the end. It was all right, but we're gonna have our have our jackal come in for the rescue. His free charge. Was also hoping for the cheeky uh, removal of uh, superiority with the di with the crit dispel, but uh, didn't get the crit. But let's see if he can finish off this. Uh, Buy a boost, damage, and he'll buy another attack. So I'm sorry, two went there. Two went to him, another one went to the, the tyrant behind. So one and one. Um, so it does remove the other great bear, but I have not done any damage to the uh, objective yet. So scoring is going to be non-existent over this uh first few turns. Attacking, hits, tough check, dead. So that's the uh, commander gone. He's going to kill off that. Kill another one. Doing some pretty good damage into the middle one. Fourth shot. And dead. Ross kind of tucks in a little bit, puts up Windstorm. Uh, one of the Arcanists burns to death. We're going to let a bunch of upkeeps drop. Uh, 
Northern Shock Trooper Gunner is double shotting into the tire into the uh, Tarask, and is going to do a bunch of damage. That's enough to get him gone. So, first time Shock Trooper Gunners have done anything. Um, so I'll take them, uh, remove a, a Siege to Rask. It seems, seems good. Argus moves up, trying to raise her wind. Does all right. And then the uh, Great Bear is going to the end of the uh, Tyrant. Give it the Dozers. Doing not not an insignificant amount of damage over the course of these shots. <coughs> Pardon me. Get Iron Flesh back on the. Uh, Rhythm of War, or Tides of Battle, give uh, kill order to that uh, tyrant that's there, they're going to charge in, or they're going to walk forward, um, load up their guns, and try to see what POW-16s can do. It's a fully operational battleship. <laughs> it's real nice hit there. And the tyrant dice off three, so it's nine damage to five. Yep. A few more damage. Three to the six. Just on sheer volume of fire, slowly whittling away this uh, ter this tyrant. But not enough to kill it off all the way. So now we are uh, old faithfuling. The hunter, or not the hunter, old faithfuling the uh, the tyrant. He repairs a couple systems, gets back to to full operation. And we attempt to clear the zone this uh, go round so that we can score uh, an insurmountable amount of points is sort of the, the thought here. So we're going to have the Tarrasque start to gobble items. Uh, he's going to gobble the guys in there because if he can hit, he auto kills and then he overtakes and goes on his magic journey. So last one. Hits, eats, then we're going to back out and hit you with the 
gun, and we will do one point of damage. Drawing you back into melee. So they're going to walk forward, uh, hand out focus. Given one to the center, two to the uh, jackal. They're going to give two to the green tyrant, one to the white tyrant, uh, getting him up to full. Again, two units of war, which is just real good. We're doing dancing things. He's going to charge in. That's the uh, reaver commander. He's going to hit. We're dice off uh, their arm 21. So we're dice off nine. So I think we do three. And then the shield does nothing. So he's going to vanish for one, and then Tarasik is going to charge. And this is where I make the major mistake of the game, is this attack here. No reason to do this attack. Just, it's not your time. You're not going to get the center this turn. Nothing, Nothing's wrong with that. I'm, I'm winning attritionally. Um, should have been content with that. Was, was not. And I play this incredibly stupidly. So I'm putting a ton of focus into trying to take out these two um, roided up suppressors. And I finally get the one, and it takes a, a ton of energy. And I slam through the arc node into the other one, into the guy over there, kill him off. Um, also sort of a stupid mistake there. It should have been a wind wall or a wind storm. Um, so Tyrant is attacking into the guy in front of him. And this is not going great. Because again, engaged shouldn't have moved up on the hyper aggressive. That was not a not an intelligent move. A lot of bad plays here, especially. Um, so Harask is in the is in the wind um, here. He is positioned on the flag in the zone, and he's got a clean line. Or uh, Valeri has a clean line to him. This was not uh, smart, and I'm, he's on one focus. So now we're going to try and beat. Uh, we're beating on the objective. Now switching gears, the uh, the tyrant is shooting at the uh, remaining great bear, and he's having a lot more success uh, shooting this round than he has in the previous rounds. Not quite where we need him to be. So, doesn't kill him off. Uh, so now we're about to make this real academic. 
So Valeria's going to soup up. Put all the focus on him. Uh, realize that there is a, uh, a juicy caster across the way. Uh, he's going to give himself savagery. Uh, first, we're doing Old Faithful on the uh, Great Bear there. You're going to repair him a bunch. So it's the fire, and then the, then the repair goes off is the way that the, the ordering was done in this instance. Yeah. But now I'm realizing I can just kill the, kill the caster. So this is what we're going to do. So we put kill order down. We charge, we hit, we do a bunch of damage, we reduce by five, we buy an attack, boost the attack, boost the damage, and that is enough to Almost kill, last one, buy and boost, and dead. Just just dead. With the savagery. <laughs> and that is the game. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, we will have another one of these uh, in our next episode of this. We will play the same scenario, King of the Hill, but without the objectives uh, in play. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, again, appreciate you watching, and uh, stay tuned for more battle reports. Like and subscribe.